Hi, this is Mark Pedro from Gunrex, and I'm here today to show you guys something unbelievably special. It's taken 500 years in the making, and I'm glad to say that, listen, those 500 years have been well worth the wait, because Beretta is launching their brand spanking new Beretta BRX, and this gun is truly incredible. So let's run through some of the features and benefits of this gun. It's like Christmas in October. So here is the Beretta BRX. So what you'll notice, it's a full synthetic gun, but the gun is slightly unique. That it doesn't have a stock standard bolt action, it's got a direct straight pull. And it's not a normal straight pull either. So you'll notice that this one here has an eight lug system with a bolt that actually turns and locks instead of having those other straight pulls that have expansion bolt that you have to push forward in order for it to activate and secure the chamber. So this is a brand spanking new gun. Um, it's coming out in uh, three different calibers in the beginning. It's, so it's coming out in a 308, a 306 and a 300 wind mag. Today we've got on the range a 308 and the 300 wind mag which we're going to be shooting very shortly. So let's go through some of the features and benefits. So besides for having a straight pull, this gun is also unique, as in it's 100% ambidextrous and you're able to change it from left-handed to right-hand within one minute. You'll notice that it's got a Picatinny rail compared to a lot of the straight pulls that have very unique and complicated uh, scope mounting systems, which normally cost the end consumer a huge amount of money. This little Picatinny rail means that you can take your scope from one gun to another gun, no problem at all. You also notice that it's got a, a ejection port on the left-hand side as well as the right-hand side, and that's the unique thing to make it from, take it from a left-handed to a right-handed. So how do we do that? First thing you do is you remove the bolt, and you don't have to have anything fancy. So in the bush, if you're shooting together with one of your friends who happens to be a left-handed and you're a right-handed shooter, both of you can actually shoot your preference. All you do is you depress this little button on the front here and you remove your bolt. And the nice thing about the bolt, you'll notice that to swap it from left-handed to right-handed, you simply slide it off and you plug it on the other side and you'll change the ejection to a left-handed side. So even if you're a keen right-handed shooter but you want the cartridge to eject the left away from your face, you could happily do so just by changing that bolt face. Also, you can happily change in a later stage from uh, standard calibers to magnum calibers just by changing that bolt. So, slide it back. Then you've got the balance of your bolt shroud. So you need to change your handle from the right-hand side through to the left-hand side. In the bush, all you need to do, take one of your cartridges, you depress the little pin at the, on the side there, you remove it, and you can change it over to the left-hand side in a matter of seconds. That's as quick, it is, as quick and easy to actually change it. So let's change it back to the right hand side, depress this little pin there, slide it back, and then we put bolt face back, depress that pin, and there's your bolt. Nice and easy. To put it back, it's got two little guide rails, one on the left, on the left hand side, one on the right hand side. Line it up, you, you slot them in, and then you simply push the bolt forward and it locks into place. On the safety, the safety is a unique safety. It's actually got a three-stage safety. So to make the gun 100% safe, you push down on the bottom and you release it, and it slides all the way down to the bottom. There's little indicators at the back here. It's very easy to see that it's now 100% safe because both indicators are hidden. With both indicators hidden, the bolt is now locked and the trigger uh, is deactivated. You push it up by one, you'll see that the white is now uh, illuminated. You can now open the bolt, but the trigger is still deactivated. A really good safety, especially if you're walking stalk and you're walking onto an animal and you need to load around, you can load around and you make sure that you're not touching a trigger or uh, endangering anybody around you. Also, when you're coming back from your walk and stalk and you're getting back into the vehicle, you can click it up onto one, you know that your trigger's deactivated, you can take your round out and you can uh, put it away safely without any complications. When you push up the safety all the way, 
you'll notice that there's a little red marking. This means that the gun is now 100% live. So bolt works as well as the trigger is now working. The magazine, it's got a double lock system on the base. The nice thing is that the magazine is also, uh, one person referred to it now as the NSRI orange, which is actually a perfect color to explain what this is. But the nice thing about it, that if you do lose it in the bush, it's very easy to go and track back your, your, your steps and you'll more than likely come across it very easily. When you put it back in, you'll notice that it locks on both sides. So the chance of it actually coming out is very, very slim. And again, the only little orange pieces that you see is on the, on the sides. The firearm comes with its own Allen key. And the Allen key is there to actually take your firearm apart. Put it in, unscrew the bolt. And the nice thing is that the bolts actually stay in the stock, so there's no chance that they'll actually fall out. And you just loosen them and your barrel comes off. You'll notice that your barrel fits into an aluminium uh, V-block. So it's a nice, secure, rigid uh, system to mount it in. These barrels are also going to be interchangeable going forward. So your firearm that you buy can be a, a, a modular system and you can change it at a later stage. So you'll be able to change the barrels to different calibers. You'll be able to change your bolt from standard to, uh, to magnum. And then everything about the gun is changeable and, and you can customize it to your benefit. So you can change the fore end. You'll notice there's a long uh, bolt in there. That's why this bolt, uh, this Allen key is so long. It allows you to remove the fore end. You can change the back end. You can change the pistol grip from uh, to fit the, your hand and fit your shooting style to make sure that you're 100% happy. Even the back uh, spacer pads for the recoil pad is stock standard from the 1301 Tactical. So again, you can buy them aftermarket in half inch or one inch at a very reasonable price. When I say the gun is customizable, it is 100% customizable for yourself. So now you'd like to change the trigger. There are three uh, trigger settings um, that come preset on the, on the gun, so you don't have to have any complications on, on changing the trigger setting. All you need to do is you depress the one, this little part here on the left hand side, you take a flat screwdriver, you pop it in there, and you push up that lever. That lever pops up to a point, and this whole trigger mechanism pushes forward and slides out. So now you lift left just with the stock of the gun. Again, as I said, you can change this to whatever you want. And going forward in the collection, you will be able to get various wood stocks, various different forms of synthetic. But as it stands at the moment for the initial launch, it comes stock standard in this beautiful black uh, synthetic stock. On your trigger, you notice you've got three settings. It comes stock standard on the heavier setting. But if you want to make it any lighter, all you need to do is grab it, depress it, and pull it forward and then lock it into the setting that you would like. The top position is the lightest position that you have on the trigger, which is around about 800 grams. But what's amazing with these triggers is that every single trigger is unbelievably crisp. So even though you're talking about uh, 800 gram trigger, the take up and the, and the break of the trigger is really unbelievably smooth. To reassemble, again, it's very easy. All you do is you lock it into, put it into the bottom, you push it back, it slides in, depress it, and it locks into place. And then it's simple to reassemble your gun. So there, from taking it apart to the really a basic stock with everything else, back into a shooting, uh, shooting firearm in what? All of two minutes. The 308 and 3006 uh, come 22 inch barrels, and all the barrels are threaded as well. And then the 300 wind mag comes in a, a 24 inch barrel. The three models that we launched in the interim is the 308, the 3006 and the 300 wind mag. The 308 and 3006 come out with a 22 inch barrel and their thread is a uh, 14.1. The th uh, 300 wind mag will come out with a 24 but also a 14.1 uh, muzzle cap, a thread on the muzzle cap in the front. 
Also, what's really nice, when we talk about a free floating barrel, this is a true free floating barrel. It goes all the way up to the it goes all the way up to the action lugs. So it's a true free floating barrel. All of them are stock standard 14 inch of pull, but as I mentioned, it's very easy to get the little spaces that you can adjust. A really unbelievable gun. But besides for the look and the feel, the actual balance of the gun is really unbelievably nice. We can't wait to actually shoot them. Let's go and see what they can do on the range. <laughs> 